So now that we have determined that there is uh, no breathing or circulation with your pet, you're going to want to start chest compressions in the CPR procedure. Um, you're going to want to do that by interlocking your hands together, placing them on the widest part of the chest, and you're going to want to keep your elbows locked and give chest compressions that are a third to a half the width of the chest. With that, you're going to stay at about 100 to 120 beats per minute, or as a lot of people like to remember, the song Staying Alive. And to do that, you keep them straight, and you're going to give 30 compressions and then two breaths and then 30 compressions. So the chest compressions will look like this. Once you've given your 30 compressions, you then will give two breaths. To do that, cup your hands over the muzzle, place your mouth on the snout, and you're going to give two breaths, remembering to remove your mouth from the snout in between breaths to allow the lungs to deflate. Then you go back to chest compressions.